Today we have an HP 14-DQ0070NR. Came in because the computer itself is not powering on. And uh, when she brought it in and I looked at it, there was liquid coming out of it. So it's a good chance we got liquid damage. So for now, let's get it apart and we'll take a look. You can already see there's stuff like just coming out of the bottom of this thing. First things first, we're gonna check for screws underneath the feet pads and of course there are. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's strange. Seven, eight screws. They're all the same lengths, uh, except for the front two, which the front two are shorter. And then these two outside screws are a thicker screw material. So there's three types of screws on here. We have the, like, so this one and this one are thicker. And then, the, then we have like just a regular screw like that. And then we have short guys so three different screw types if you're taking this apart just remember that let's get our plastic separator here let's... this is where we hope we don't find roaches this is generally where you'll find roaches and computers like this. Yeah, we got. We, it looks like we definitely have some rust and some intrusion here. You can see it over there. So first things first, let's get this battery out so we don't start a fire. So I guess we'll, let's go over the board real quick. We have the battery, we have your memory, and more than likely the hard drive in this is completely integrated. I, I'm not seeing an SSD. There is a slot for a hard drive here, and there is the connector for a hard drive, but it's not actively on this board. So, all right, let's see what we can do real quick. If I flip this over and this thing is completely and utterly just gone, then it's bad luck for the customer. Because yeah, I, I think that's what's about to happen. So let's get these screws off of here. This is the cooling plate. This is a passive cooling laptop. And on this plate, you'll see one, two, three, where's four? This should be four, four, five. I'm pretty sure four. Yeah, the number's underneath the adhesive here. So you remove it in that order and you put it back in that order. Two, three, four, five. And then this plate's gonna have some thermal compound on the bottom of it, right, right where the CPU sits. And then this, the Wi-Fi cable just runs through it so you don't have to worry about that. All right, now we're gonna disconnect all of these cables one at a time. See what we see. And then we need to remove the Wi-Fi card to get the motherboard out. Uh, it is a single stick of RAM, Emily. Okay, 
So one thing you gotta look out for is the speaker cable isn't like a pull type, it is a lift out type. We got another cable back there. And then we have, this is the DC jack. Man, that thing is cranked in there. All right, let's get these screws out. Another board. To remember kind of what order these screws go in. This one's top left, this one is bottom right, this one's right here. There are different screw types here. And then apparently we have this corner of this power connector. We'll just set that over there. to get a decent look at that and figure that out all right back to where we were with this all right we were looking at this to see if i can see let me use my quick microscope we'll see if we see any like component damage on here other than the massive amounts of rust Yeah, there was a component there that is now no longer there. That isn't just... That isn't just a char mark. There's a actual component straight up missing there. So when, when you have a stuff that comes in looking like that and that you typically tell people hey you're gonna need a new motherboard so we're gonna like I, I was just going through and checking that one that was the only thing that I saw that was like completely and utterly screwed on the board was that one little that one little circuit so I have no idea what this is other than just like rust. All right, let's let's piece this guy back together. Make sure I keep this in frame. going to do some simple just a couple simple connections to this and then we'll I think the power button is on the keyboard don't need that I don't believe power button on the keyboard where is the power button is on this board so this has to be plugged in and just for just for giggles we're gonna put a single screw in here just to hold it down yeah of course Emily
got a light. I pressed the power button. I don't know if anything's going to happen. Probably not. There's no other indicators on this whatsoever. I mean, there's not even a CPU fan, so... Which would be something that I would be able to, you know, check. Well, we're going to plug some other stuff in just to be on the safe side. Not plugged in. Not plugged in. Ah, I just found another another intrusion spot, which might be causing this some issues. I didn't see that before. Let's see if we can just clean that up. And we'll check this side of the cable. So, I think that might be able to be salvaged. looks damaged right that right there looks damaged to me to try and clean this off. <sighs> These look toasted though. Grab some of our Japanese sticky sticks. Odds of these working again, very low. Should probably check the other side here. Other side looks like it's working. You know what we'll do? We'll check continuity here. Last two are just oh, 
Yeah, so those, this ribbon cable is done. So I would need to order that ribbon cable. Still, we're cheaper than a motherboard at this point. I have to work on a car, Emily. Yeah, you can see that it's actually, it's actively broken. Right there. Yeah, right there, I think that's, that's completely separated. I think the rest of them are actually not too bad, though. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're both agreeing it's probably this right here. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's no copper. So I think I can order this. But my other concern is I need to get this off and I need to look at this to see if there's anything on the other side. So I can, that would be something I can order. That'd be nice and cheap. After this, we're going to be rebuilding a gaming desktop. That's, so stay tuned. That's what's coming up next. No, Emily, I will not. I don't have any place to set anything like that up. This button is not working. So this whole board would need to be replaced. Yeah, you can see also. I started fixing cars long before I started fixing computers, Emily. Let me call this person, just let her know she's, like, she might as well just look at another computer because this thing's going to need way more stuff than it's worth. Alright, so this is now mine. So I will look at ordering this cable and maybe that circuit board and then we'll see if that other thing that I did fixed it because if it, if it did, then I can in theory clean this up a little bit, turn around and, you know, sell it or something but it's like there's so much stuff that i'm taking the risk of fixing this and having it not work versus me start replacing let's say i replace the motherboard on this she gets it back this board dies or the keyboard doesn't work so i am assuming the risk of owning this computer now all right, let me get this finished, put back together. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.